this is Halloween 2020. Uh, I know it looks super bright outside because it is sunrise in 10 minutes. Um, since I haven't scouted that like a whole bunch, I, I wasn't confident in any spot going in at dark and not really knowing what I'm set up on. Um, but earlier in the summer, I don't know if y'all remember, there was a spot that connected to the clear cut across the road that found a ton of poop, some deer trails, I think a bed. Um, so we're really just going to be walking in there at sunlight trying to find, um, there's not going to be any buck sign, um, per se, like new, but, um, we're going to try to look for, um, some fresh, like, activity sign, uh, and just set up on that for the morning. So, that's why it's early in the morning, right, or kind of late in the morning right now. Uh, it's about 7, so, um, yeah, I think I'm going to be sitting tonight, too, and daylight savings is tonight. So, tomorrow morning will be extra, extra early. But sunrise, sunset's at 6. So, I think today's going to be an all-day sit. Um, I'm going to scout my my way through the woods today because it's just kind of a big old block of timber once you go back to where I'm going and connecting to that far path you saw in the last video. Um, it's just a big old block that isn't touched by anything but these two roads um, and it's still really far to get back in there. So I think I know there are deer in there, that guy told me. Um, so hopefully like we see something just walking in there nice and slow and uh, it's uh it's about 37 so it feels amazing right now so here we go guys so we just got down and like literally look what we found we have this that is like fresh dirt right next to this rub we have over here maybe that one this one with this branch up above it this one and then the tree has fallen and it's still alive those green leaves are it and just right here is like the only place it's rubbed so that's a really good sign so yeah um we found all this and I'm gonna try to find where that buck went. So, what I'm gonna do. Oh man, that's kinda risky. I'm gonna try to go back. We can either go to the clear cut or go more into the timber toward their bedding. And what I'm gonna do is I'm guessing that he's gonna go to the timber more. Because, like I 
I said, only these two roads can get to this. Another scrape. So, I'm gonna go back in there. Try to, I'm gonna look at the map, try to find out where he is. I may go back in there and set my stuff up. And then, if I'm not too far back, or if I get a certain ways out there, I'm gonna walk back, take a nap, eat, do all that, and get ready to sit for the afternoon. Um, but we're hoping to find this buck. Here we go. I think I just spooked a buck. Alright, after literally trying to find food for so long, uh, the closest fast food is an hour away. There's two marinas. Both are supposed to be open, but they're both closed. So I drove like 20 minutes to a Chevron that actually took me to a broken down Chevron. And there was the wrong address on Google and had to find the other one. Anyway, got some food. <laughs> some food. Very high quality, huh? And, um, we're... I, I don't want to go back to the spot I just scouted, and there was like a pretty good spot that had like oaks next to this clear cut, 
But I don't want to sit over there when I don't know for sure there's deer. Like, I haven't seen any sign in there or really haven't scouted it. But I know there's deer in here. And I feel like just because that buck and that doe <laughs> both busted there, I feel like there's still the chance that maybe some other deer will come by. Um, especially with, like, the sign I saw in there. So we're going to go back in there. It's 2 o'clock right now. And um, sunset, I think, is around, like, 6, actually. Uh, maybe 7, actually. Uh... So, yeah, we're about to leave to go get in there, and then, um, I, th I think we have a good shot. I mean, I know that buck was probably the one doing all that scraping, and then bedded 30, 50 yards away, but, uh, maybe something else will come in. We'll see. Here we go. 